Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson was a request for Cancion del Mariachi from the film Desperado. It's a lovely little guitar Spanishy piece. I've done a cover version so if you want to hear what it sounds like all the way through go and check the cover version out. I'll put a link above and a link in the description down below. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video and leave me some comments in the comment section including any songs you want to learn, where in the world you're from and if you love what I'm doing and you want to print the tabs off for this, I've put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description. We've got five lines to get through. The first line sounds like this. So for that, we're going to start off with a little hammer-on from A2 to A3 and then a hammer-on from open A to A2 So you've got Then play E3 Then open A E2 E3 And then E So that's the first phrase, slowly it goes speed and then you're just holding that on for a kind of indefinite it's not two bars you just hold on the whole of this is played a bit free you don't play it necessarily in time then in the next bar we're going to play the open E then D5 G4 and then open E so it goes and then you can either use your thumb or you can use your fingers play the D G and the B strings so I'm going to go and then we're going to move up to fret 5 on the G string and 7 on the D string. And you're going to play the. You can play it with your thumb, just strumming down. Um, so it's not perfectly in time, it's not. It's. You just. It's like played a bit slow. Okay, so that bar 4 goes. then into bar 5 it goes back to the 5 on the D string, 4 on the G string and the B string open. And then you play just a B on its own and then back up to the 7 and the 5, strum it down and then back down to the 4 on the G and the 5 on the D and strum it and then just play the 5 and the 4 on their own, the D5 and the G4 go down to G, open G with the D2 and then into the next bar we've got fret 2 on the G string and 4 on the D string. So bars 5 and 6 go so the whole line slowly goes This is hold on for an indefinite period of time, and then we go. And up speed. On to the next line, we've got this. So for that, we've got my first finger flat uh, barred across the second fret. Third finger on D4, so I play the A2, D4, and G2. And then we're gonna play the G2 and the D4 at the same time twice, open B and G, back to the D4 and G2, then B1 and G2, so bar 7 goes. Again the time is not exact, it's just a, it's a bit free so. And the next bar goes. Which is B, G, B, then 
G2, D4, G2, G, D2, G, then D4, A6, D4, so bar 8. And then you hold on that last note a little bit longer, it, it, it kind of holds on, and then you're going to play an E minor chord as an arpeggio. So E, A2, D2, open G, open B, and open E. So that line slowly goes. holds on and then we go to like it sort of speeds up the next little part of it uh, and the line goes so for that we're going to play down uh, what, what is an E minor triad playing D9 G9 and B8 and then E7 in the next bar and then you're going to hit E7 and B8 at the same time. So it's and then it does that again, the 7 and the 8. Then up to 8 on the E string and 10 on the B string. Back to the 7 and the 8. Another 7 and 8. And then the 9 on the G string. So from the beginning of that line it goes... And then bar 12, we're going to play E8 and B10. Then E7 and B8. And then again, G9. Then E5 and B7. And at the end of the bar, we've got a fret 8 on the G string. So bar 12 goes... Uh, so then into bar 13 we're playing fret 5 on the E string and 7 on the B string. We're going to do that. So 4 hits in total. Then up to the 7 and 8. Then down to the 5 and 7. Then 2 more hits on the 5 and 7. Up to the 7 and 8. And then back down to the 5 and 7 twice. In the next bar, don't play anything in the brackets. That's just held on. And then E2 and B4. And then E3 and B5. Uh, so bars, if we put the 8 going into bar 13, it goes. So the whole line slowly goes. On to the next line, it looks more complicated than it is. All it is is playing an E minor chord, which is just A2 and D2. And we're going to play them triplets uh, for a whole bar and then into the next bar for the two beats. And then it goes to B7, which is your little finger E2, third finger G2. 2nd finger A2 and 1st finger on D1 and then you can play those triplets um, through that bar into the next bar, 2 beats of the 4th bar and then back to the E minor it'll make more sense if I just play it, so it goes ok so just E minor for a, a bar and a half then B7 for the rest of that um, bar, into the next bar, and then half a bar, and then back to E minor. It's hard to explain it, but it literally just goes. Okay, so that just goes through, uh, and it repeats, and then you go to the chorus, which is just going to go to A minor, which is B1, D2, and G2 for two beats, and then E minor for two beats, B7 for two 
two beats and then E minor for two beats. So you got. And that just repeats. And then it goes back it, on the actual song, it goes back to. The... And then it goes back into the verse of the song, which is the E minor to the B7. Uh, and it just keeps repeating around that. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier. If you want the tabs for this, I'll put it on my Patreon page. It just helps support me as well, keeps me doing these videos. Uh, don't forget to give me a like, leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you want to learn and just what you thought of the video and where in the world you're from. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.